Jose Macias first bat of the game. A swing and a drive. Deep in the right field. His eighth of the year. Detroit's up by the score of one nothing. Bottom four. Jeff Weaver pitching to Paul Canerco. I thought he was tying his shoelaces. Ring him up, sit him down. Reaching down, getting that nasty hook. Uh -oh. Next one, though, Canerco. Way back, his 30th of the year. John Leifer then followed with a home run to make it 3-2 Detroit, Dave. Well, he still didn't go off his curveball, though. When he gets it, and, well, he changed speeds of that one, got Carlos Lee. Good location there with Josh Paul. See ya, and Ray Durham. Gonna see that sweep and breaking ball. Not in a great spot, but got him out. Bottom seven, Chris Singleton at the plate. Chris Wakeland is there. Wake, my boy from Oregon State, Cor Portland, Oregon. They were doing okay until they ran into the mighty Fresno State Bulldogs last oh, weekend. Man. Nine game losing streak on Wednesday. Top third, Frank Castillo facing Robbie Alomar. And Alomar off the top of a very short wall for his 12th triple. He was three for five, he's now hitting 337. He would score on a Juan Gonzalez sack fly to make it 3 nothing. Speaking of Juan Gonzalez, top five. Judge, I never slice, but that one does. Kenny Lofton scores. Gonzalez, three RBI, now 128 on the year. As for his replacement, Manny Ramirez, nasty pitch. Chuck Finley, good stuff on the night. Finley gets Izzy out Contreras. Don't kick him. Nice job. Bottom eight, here's Manny Ramirez. Nicely done off Danny Baez at 6-2, but with two on and two out in the eighth. Chris Steins, Jose Offerman score. The Sox got the lead to 6-4. Next guy up, Carl Everett. Tying run, missed on some filthy stuff from Danny Baez. Indians hold on to win at 6-4. Finley, four hits and six in the third. Give the Indians that the rest of the way. It'll be a spasms top first. Mike Hampton, Sean Green, he's playing and playing well. Just lost his 43rd homer, ties the Dodgers single season record, holds it with Gary Sheffield. Last season, Duke Snyder back in 1956, Dodgers up 1-0. Green again, base hit. Yeah, he was two for three, drove it a couple of runs. He hadn't homered or driven in a run in nine games, so he kind of gets off the of schneid. It's 2-0. Top fifth, Gary Sheffield trying to catch back up on huh? his 34th. Sheffield hitting 358 with 16 homers, 44 ribs since the All-Star game. Bottom seven, Rockies down 6-2, trying to claw back. Todd Helton, that'll claw some. A run will score, the Rockies down just 6-3, trying to get Mike Hampton off the hook. Still in the seventh, Juan Uribe, he's been warm lately. Uh-oh, not warm enough. Pitcher's best friend, double play, Dodgers out of that inning. Bottom of the eighth, though. Rockies down 7-4. Sal Fasano, let's make it 7-5. He's the back end of back-to-back -back home runs. The second guy makes it. 7-5, as I said, we got a little drama there at Coors Field. Still in the eighth. Jesse Orozco on to face Larry Walker, and Larry Walker can rake, but he strikes out there against Orozco, and the Dodgers win it by a count of 9-5. to five. They're now just two back in the West. That's good fun. Hampton. Highlight. There is Barry facing Albi Lopez with a runner on. Lopez. Bonds walks on five pitches later in the first. Had it two bases juiced. Ramon Martinez. Two for three, two RBI, two run score. Giants up four to two. Next at bat for Barry Bonds. Nobody on. First pitch by Lopez. Fastball high. Second pitch. Down the middle. One and one. Third pitch. Breaking ball low. Two and one. Fourth pitch. Bonds fouls it back. Two and two. Fifth pat, pitch fouled off again. And the class of 60 move over. We got one more. Bonds hits one high to right field. Hits one deep. Number 60 out of here. Look at it again, said pitcher Albi Lopez. It was a curveball down in the strike zone, and he went and got it. Bonds said his heart was racing as he rounded the bases. Meanwhile, the game. 5-3 Giants, John Vanderwall. That's a drive. Steve Finley usually all over this, and he should be here except for one thing. Well, this fan, he reaches over the wall. The ball goes elsewhere. Finley and Reggie Sanders claim fan interference. Take another look. They got a point. The fan clearly reaches over the wall in front of Finley's glove. And hey, what do you know? Good call. It is ruled fan interference. Vanderwall out. The fan, see ya. Giants win. The victory moving the Giants back to within a game and a half of first place Arizona. Bonds destroy the D-backs this year, hitting 328, including nine of his Coppinger facing Vinny Castilla. Castilla, bat on it, grounder. Luis Lopez diving, stop, gets up, and the finish. Lopez also went one for four in this game. He's hitting 260. Bottom seven, three, two, Milwaukee. Lance Berkman up with a tying run at second. Davey Lopes pulls the righty. Mark Leiter in favor of the lefty. Ray King. So what does Berkman do? Lance Lodges turns himself around in the 
the first pitch from King. Up the middle, single, Lancelot. Craig Biggio scores, tying the game at three. Strategy fails. Top 10 tied at three, Billy Wagner against Mark Loretta with a runner on second. Loretta said, with Billy throwing so hard, you just try to get the bat on the ball, and that's what he did as Luke Collier comes around to score the go-ahead run from Milwaukee. As you take another look, Collier breaking for third on the pitch. That forced Castilla to move to cover the bag, and the ball got through. Meanwhile, Curtis Laskanik facing Moises Alou. Alou thinks it's gone, and Jeremy Burnett says, no, it's not. Burnett's making up for an 0 for 4 night, and the Brewers hang on to win in 10. The loss drops the Astros. NL Central lead to four and a half games over the Idle Cubs. The Astros. Rangers, welcome to Frank Catalanato's world. The guy's trying to qualify for a batting title. He needed three at bats. He gets one there and gets a base hit. His average is up to 345. We like to call this chasing Ichiro, who leads the AL at 349. Bottom second, Catalanato. Now gonna, not going to get a base hit. He's going to get the at bat back down to 344. Five points behind each row. Bottom fifth, Catalanato. Oh boy. Torrey Hunter took away a lot of base hits for the Twins out in center. He's qualified at 344 and then would finish one for four at 343. A Rod in the fifth off Brad Ratke, untying a 3 3 game with his 42nd homer of the year, tying a career high and matching his AL record for shortstops at 42. Rangers win it 4-3. Rangers sending twin seven back of Cleveland. Match Paul Bird on the hill, Garrett Anderson at the plate. And that is going to be off the wall. Darren Erstadt and Adam Kennedy coming to score. Anderson in his second with a double, and Anaheim's up by the score of 2-0. 108 RBIs for Garrett Anderson this season. Pretty impressive. Still in the first, Tim Salmon. Way back, Salmon's had a rough year, but that's a two-run home run. Smoked that one, didn't it? Angels up four zip. And then it's Salmon again. Smoked Salmon. Off the foul, Paul. It's a fair ball. Two-run shot, Angels up 6-1. But 6-3 game, Carlos Beltran trying to tie it off Troy Percival. And he does it. His fourth hit of the game. Percival's third blown save of the year ties the game at six. Top nine, two on. Two out, Mark Quinn. Percival gets him out on strikes. Angels have the winning run on first. It's 10th though, Roberto Hernandez getting nicked up. Ben Molina, base hit, Garrett Anderson, no relation. Scores, let's eat, post game spread open for business. Angels win it by a count of 7-6. Molina with his ninth game winning RBI of the season. The Angels are just the Velcro in his golf club. Jerry Boa not happy because his team hadn't played with intensity, but they did there, Jimmy Rollins. First batter of the game, Drake Bunce and Carl Pavano, Lee Stevens will get out of play pitch and catch. Two batters later, Bobby Abreu brings Rollins home. Abreu is club leading 27th homer and the Phillies leader back kind of 2-0. Bottom first, Vlad Guerrero. Grounds into the inning, ending 4-6-3 double play. Expos major league leading 134th DP. Bottom seven, Expos down 3-0. Got a runner on again and Jeffrey Edward. Bob, you get in this house right now. Another 4-6-3 double play. Anderson to Rollins to Lee. That's 135th, and they weren't done yet. Bottom nine, still 3-0. Orlando Cabrera, 6-3 double play. Number 136 on the season. Bills end their skid, win at 3-0. Robert Person, 7 and a third scoreless innings against the Expos. Hasn't allowed a run in 25 and a third career innings. Obviously, the state of Florida made other plans. Bottom two, no score. Kevin Millar against Kevin Apier. Down the line, Timo Perez all over it. He'll throw into Edgardo Alfonso. Millar rounding first. Alfonso, the throw gets Millar at first. What's he doing? Bad base running for the Marlins. Bottom four, no score. Mike Lowell facing Apier. Preston Wilson going. Lowell, Robin Ventura. Throw to Todd Zeal for the out. Zeal back to Ventura to get the running Preston Wilson. That's a 5-3-5 five, five, double play. More bad right base running. Meanwhile, Ventura against Brad Penny. The chopper to Dave Berg. Looks like the perfect inning inning double play, but wait, Berg throws it away. Error on Berg. Piazza to third, Ventura to second. Uh-oh. Top of the ninth, Mets up 4-2. to two. Mike Piazza. Three for five in this game with one RBI. He's hitting 293. More Marlin problems. Cliff Floyd running in. Alex Gonzalez. Uh-oh. You gotta communicate, Ben. Matt Lawton scores. Mets win. Beat the Marlins 5-2. Kevin Apier gets the win, scattering nine hits over six and a third as the Mets keep rolling, winning for the 15th time.